Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it chose to join me today in the... the uh, Camp Hathor. Yeah, uh, I took care of a, a connection. There was a connection over there, uh, and, uh, and it's now taken care of over here. And I also went back home and basically dropped all the junk that I was carrying and bought a three more TNT charges. Now we have four rather than one, which is what we had last episode. Let's have a chat with Edgar about the Rathound King. Yeah. Haven't I mentioned him before? I suppose I was too focused on the borrower issue. No, no. I, 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 not, I not only know about him, I met him. What? You met him? Where? How? I found his lair south of here. I went past some caves filled with rat hounds, and then found an abandoned building that turned out to be the entrance to his lair. It was heavily trapped, but I managed to get inside and got to talk to him. Then you've seen how savage and ruthless he is. I'm amazed you're al even alive. Uh, yeah, well, actually, I, ma I sort of managed to convince him to negotiate a truth with Camp Athor. You did what? Without talking to me about it? You really have the guts. Do you know that? <laughs> okay, wait. But what do you mean you managed to convince him to negotiate a truth? How? I mean, I, su I suspect it ain't nothing but one of his tricks. Well, yeah, he agreed to do it. Uh, th th I mean, he agreed that I'd do all the talking because he doesn't trust you guys enough to, uh, to meet him. He said that he wants you to leave him alone. No trespassing on his land south of the of Camp Aethor. And the south part of the hunting grounds is also his. And his alone, he says. Uh, he said that if you can agree to that, he won't harm or disturb you in any way ever again. Edgar was carefully listening to your every word. You could see different emotions ripple across his face, yet the one that stuck after you finished relaying Rathound King's demands, I use it not as uh, his title, but rather as his name, Mr. Rathound King, Rathound King's demands in, uh, is a neutral one. He has a neutral expression. Okay. It takes him a minute or so, but he soon responds, You know what? I'm willing to trust him, but only because I trust you. You've proven yourself and if you say this isn't a trick, then I suppose I can give you my official statement. We accept the truce. South part of hunting grounds belong to him. No one from Camp Hathor will trespass on his land. In return, as he himself promised, we don't want to see him or any of his red hounds on our part of the hunting grounds, or otherwise near or in Camp Hathor. Also, he promised safety to all our people. Did he? I, I don't know. Failure to abide will result in hostility, and all further attempts to negotiate, if any, will be ignored. Okay, I don't think he ever attempted to negotiate, but I'll go tell him that. Report back to me when you're done. I hope I'm not making a mistake. Well, you and me both, mate. You and me both, because that guy is tough to kill. I'm pretty sure I killed him. Uh, I think I said this before. I'm pretty sure I killed him on my first first uh, bout, f not bout, first time around through the game. Let's see what we can do over here. So we have still, no, we don't have, we have one location that is, uh, that has a passage. This one has a passage? Does it now? Oh, right, because it's the one that we're taking right now. So it probably leads to, well, but the other one doesn't, I didn't write that there's a passage on the other one. Terrible. There's red hounds. I did. I did write that there's a passage. There we go. I did it. I did it properly. So you guys are all gonna be dead and running. Okay, off to a good start. Here comes one, two, three. Okay, you get that. You get that. Lovely. There we go. In between. Oh, there's more. Do I know why there's more? Is there a Death Stalker? I don't like Death Stalkers. I got into combat. Hmm. Oh, Red Hound Alpha. Took damage. He's afraid, I think. As long as it's not a Death Stalker, I'm good to go. 
There we go. And I think that is that. It is indeed. Okay. Off to a, a good start, I suppose. In between episodes... I think I was going to say this. In between episodes, I um, actually fought some red, ho uh, red hounds. Uh, because I went back to SGS and there were some red hounds in the, in the way. We did spend a bunch of time out here. But... Uh, but everything is good. So I left. Oh no! No! Nope! 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 I was not expecting so many of them. I wonder if I could have sneaked past. I mean, I oh, I obviously can't. I mean, I could, but it is very risky to do it, considering that they get uh, super initiative. So that's a couple of fears over there. I say super initiative. I get a, 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 a terrible initiative. I think I might have feared a lot of uh, Red Hound Alphas over here. Okay, let's see what I can... Oh, that's too far away. This sucks. Oh, this sucks. Hi. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try that over there. I could swear there was another up there, but they don't do this normally. Okay. Hmm. Not too bad. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna kill them, but if I, even if I don't, all of them become afraid. And I used up all of my action points to do that. So I'll do this to you. And then fear you both. Actually kill you with a 226 damage critical on that fireball. That's what I'm talking about. And there's another... Oh, okay. Hi. Okay. Hi. There's too many of them. Okay. Ooh. There we go. That's not too shabby. All of them are afraid. Fair amount of damage too. So there's still four of them. Yeah, I don't want to risk... I don't want to risk... Um, being attacked by... by go, running for the uh, for the exit. Because I can run for the exit, but then I need to come back. And, and things might not work out quite as well as I, I want them to. Okay, they're not... Oh, they are coming. Some of them, anyway. Okay. It's relatively good news. Not tremendous, but uh, relatively good. Let's see what I can do here. Didn't fear those two, unfortunately. And they get me. I am still above. Okay, that's still a good threshold. So what am I waiting here? It's Sai. That helps me. That was a misclick, by the way. That guy's afraid. So let's just get into position. Because I will kill him. With this skill. And we will regenerate. Yeah. Woo. Man. Some really... It's a huge amount of them. It's just a tremendous amount of these guys. And obviously, there's no reason for me to do that. I really wish they hadn't uh, done the minus 1,000 initiative when you exit. Uh, wait, wasn't there a door? No, it's on the next next one over. Uh, I really wish that, that, that... Yeah, I just wish that they would have um, left left the, uh, the exploit available because it doesn't really make the game any... Like, yeah, it makes it... Makes it a little bit cheesy every once in a while if you want to do it but you know whatever if you want to if you don't want to do it don't do it like that's it and that creates other problems precisely because of uh, how uh running past enemies work works because you can't run past enemies now i mean you can it's just that you're gonna be bitten uh because they they will they will have a thousand initiative over you so there's no way <laughs> this when you come back i mean okay so here we are, Red Hound King, Mr. Red Hound, sorry, Mr. King. What is it? Um, about Camp Athor. Yeah. They agreed to your terms. Good, but I'm still keeping my eyes open. 
He stops to look at you for a second. You've done well. I don't know why you did all this, but I respect it nonetheless, and I thank you. I don't have any money to give you, but I can give you this instead. And he hands you a curious suit of leather armor. Welcome to the pack. Huh. Oh. Increases strength. Immune to fear. Movement points are increased. Increased, increased movement speed. And it's actually not too heavy. Uh, all heat damage taken is increased by 100, though. I could kill you now. Did I get an experience from that? I hope I did. I did not. But I also now know how these guys work. Ah, uh, I'm so sorry. It seems like your friends are upset at me or something. I'm not actually sure. Can I stun you in the face? Yes, I can. Um, Fall back a little bit. Let yourself be here. We're going to take damage from this guy. Okay. That's pretty good. That's going to scare a bunch of these guys away. Really? Oh, you can't? Oh, that's terrible. It didn't scare this one, though. Hi, he's throwing things at me. I'm now entangled. And he's shooting. Okay. He's running. That's pretty nasty. I, uh, probably can't frighten you. Yeah, that's a problem. That is a problem. Let's try and salvage this somehow. Really? I can shoot him like this? That's a surprise. Okay. I don't think he's healing. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, he missed! Oh, yeah, I'm still gonna die. So, we, yeah, this is doable. Let's do it. You know what? Experience is the best education. We all know this. Premeditation. Let's show you what's good. Okay, so that's the first hit, and then I can do that. Which is pretty nice. And then I can do this. Which is also pretty nice. And then I can do this. Maybe. I can't. Okay, I can... I can... Just want to make sure... Like, there's a better way to do this. There's a better place to be in, I think, uh, than, than where I am if I want to do damage to both of them. Uh, but that works for me. It's not a problem. So if I do this, that's good. And then I do that for the stun. That, was that a critical? I think he's dead. I think he might be dead. I'm going to do this to you because you're nasty. And you're chilled. I'm going to warm you up a little bit. I think. And I'm going to move back. Ooh, that kept me away from, from... Okay, that's pretty good. And now he's got a second wind, which is bad. I have uh, the, for the next cold. Let's see what I can do to you. That's very nice. And now I can do this. I mean, I can't really. I need to move. Oh, man. Um, can attack again, I guess. And the Rat Hound King is dead. And this guy is chilled, so I might be able to kite him a little bit. I don't know how long... Well, the rend does take a little while. Okay. So, can I stun you? I cannot. He's become immune to it. So, let's get a side booster. Let's get one of these in here. And uh, keep fleeing. I don't know if this guy alone is going to kill me. Did he actually... He missed, didn't he? He misses the rend. Oh, that is amazing. Uh, I think you're not immune to cryostasis, though. Yeah. Oh, and that apply That applies one of those? Sure. 
Fireball. Hmm. That one is a nasty one. Really, really hard to kill. The ancient rat hound. Okay. Well, it's chilled, it's it's good. The other guy is also a problem, but if I'm lucky. Oh, it's afraid. Okay, there's an alpha coming up. Oh, there's two alphas, obviously. Okay. Stick around here. I think you're gonna die right now. Yes, indeed. The other one is gonna show up, I think. Yes, indeed. Wow. Okay, now. Oddities. Do I get an oddity from that? I'm gonna say yes. It looks like I have. Ooh, ancient red hound tooth. Hmm. And an ancient red hound leather. Some interesting things in here. Some uh, relatively low quality. Oh, these are not quality based. These are just ingredients. Interesting. This is high quality. 99 quality. Red hound alpha corpse. Really? Oh, yeah, because these are Red Hound Alphas. What about the Red Hound King? We have his head. We have the bolts. I'll take them. Red Hound Regalia. Wait, another one? I got two of them. He's, uh, he's a little bit damaged because... <laughs> I sort of burned him a little bit. Also, I have something called the jawbone. That's not actually a jawbone. That's a crossbow. And a massive crossbow, in fact. I don't know if it would be good. It's not good for me. So the nets... Eh, I can take them. I'll take all. Okay. Three experience from getting the ancient red hound tooth. I think I would have gotten more of them. Um, if I had... Um, for the later. 75? Can I do that? Oh, dang it. Can't? Okay. So lock picking. That's not the wrong that's not the right picking. 75. Good stuff. And about this locker. 70, I can do that one. So it wasn't well, I have an amazing character. I was gonna say it's not a it wasn't as hard as I remembered it being. Yeah. An amazing character does that. And do I need to take these? Flares are actually quite ex Expensive. I think I can sell them easily enough. Uh, and yes, I have started now to um, judge my my um, to judge my um, carry weight. Not carry weight. My loot. I've started to judge my loot now and only take the stuff that I actually need. It's, it's a. I know it's a big change. It's a big, ch it's a big change, but you know what? A person must grow. Carrie is becoming a, a, a stronger and more wise person as, as the, the days go by. I'm not actually sure that any day went by. The game does have a... Oh, hi. Oh, no. Well, that's what uh, autosaves are for. Well, screw yourself. <laughs> that's why I don't disable autosaves for the vast majority of the time. Uh, I, although I do sometimes when I know... Well, and I come back, I do, because it does save time. Because the... The vast majority of the load time is just the game saving. So, we are off here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That Death Stalker, it's uh, I still, I, I think I still have a, an oddity that I need to get out of them. But we also need to get uh, to the Death Stalkers uh, that are, are blocking our path. Hey, Bill. What's up? Uh, that are blocking our path to the north anyway. So, we're in fact, we might get to them this very episode. Uh, I just, I don't know. I uh, we guess we'll figure it out. Let's uh, go in here and give them the head of the, the thing. Why did I do it like that? Mm, for money. For money. Carrie doesn't have qualms about any qualms. Hey! Um, well, I guess that's that. Huh. Wait. That breaks the quest? Oh no, that breaks the quest. Oh, I can't do that then. I don't even know if I saved. Okay, he's still alive. Aw. Well, I guess you guys, you got to see what he has. That's fine. 
That's a shame. It breaks the quest. And that's another reason to have autosaves, by the way, is so you don't need to quick save as much. And you can have multiple saves and just manage them all over the place and, and do the options that you want to make the options of, rather than live with consequences of things that really shouldn't, shouldn't, they shouldn't, that's a, that's basically a bug, breaking a quest. It's not actual, well, it's basically an, an unforeseen circumstance. The developers didn't think I would attack the, well, the, I say the developers, the de oh no, this is bad. Yep. Developer, yeah, the cell bed. Didn't think I would attack the Rat King after, after uh, agreeing to him that um, that I wouldn't attack him. Why would I do that? What kind of lunatic am I? Well, it's like Colonel RPG, mate. I'm Colonel RPG. <laughs> Either way, um, yeah, that's unfortunately breaks the quest. We can't cross there. Okay, don't go there either. Then I think that leads to the same place. No, it does not. It leads to a different area. Actually, it leads to the wrong area. The other one does. Good stuff. Bill, don't get in my way. I'm I'm off. I don't have a head. I know. I wonder if you, if you can lo uh, uh, pickpocket the head out of uh, the Rat Town King, or how they manage that. I wonder if it spawns on death, or if it's just got a marker on it that says cannot be pickpocketed. I wonder if that's a feature of the engine. Hey, it's done. I talk one fi final time with the Rat Town King. Oh, excellent. I feel relieved. We need to be careful still, of course, but somehow I think this might just work. Now, Kerry, there's only one thing left for me to do. You did so much for us. Helped us get rid of the bugs and the Red Hound King as well, making our lives much easier. First, take this. And he ta Oh, I forgot about this voice. Whatever. He, ta he hands you 300 charons. This is not your only p reward, of course. You are one of us now. Come see me when you have the time, and I'll teach you a few things that a hunter like you might find useful. Not many, like, uh, not many get this here fine opportunity. Another thing that I'm just thinking of. I can go back and kill the Red Hound King now, and uh, they will not be the uh, any the wiser. I'll do that, actually, off camera. Uh, one thing, though, I was also thinking of is this. I have psych uh, Psionic Mentor. This device can be used to automatically teach yourself psy uh, Psychotemporal Contraction. And I don't think I have that. And I don't remember where I got that, but I remember reading about it, uh, about things that basically teach you skills. And there it is. Uh, so let's see what that is. Psychotemporal Dilation. Contraction increases target action. Wait a minute. No, it is not a thing that I had. Increases target's action points by 15 and movement points by 30. It lasts two turns. Can I apply that to, that to myself? I can. And then you enter combat. And you have the biggest. You also are a little bit depleted, but, you know... Such is life. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Okay, um... Oh, yeah, I need to I need to use him to learn things. He just said that, that I should... Oh! Boyd talks to me now. In front of you is a lean young man. He removes his respirator for a moment to reveal a cleanly shaven, handsome face. His exposed arms, on the other hand, are almost entirely enveloped by a collage of chaotic tattoos, except for a few spots where hot branding iron where a hot branding iron was used to defile the skin instead. In fact, every single tattoo acts like a brand and represents a different gang. The man is perfectly aware of what your eyes are focused on, but he simply ignores it. I thought he was going to say, hey, my eyes are up here. Anyway, instead, he politely speaks to you. Hello, Kerry. I'm Boyd, Edgar's deputy. Uh, I gotta thank you for dealing with those burrowers, dominating work for which we owe you big time. Now, tell me, what do you need? Oh yeah, dominating is just, it's a is a thing that they say. I think it's more in Core City that they say that a lot. Dominating just means, oh yeah, it's, it's banging, that's good. Uh, yeah, so you don't seem like you're from around here. Hmm, what gave it away? The tattoos and the scars? Yeah, I see. I'm not from around here. I came from Core City. I like it here more. Life is simpler. And I think, yeah, I just said it, I think it's more in Core City, and that is a giveaway right there that said dominating. Can you tell me more about yourself? Maybe, some other time, yeah. Def some other time. Uh, it's a little bit of a stretch, though. <laughs> as as, uh, as as lingo goes, a little bit of a stretch. Hey, what can you tell me about Camp, Camp Athor? 
Oh, there's not much to say. We're a small but proud hunting community. Basically, miners turned hunters after the Hathor mine was closed, if you will. Not much happens here, except for the earthquake and except for the recent burrower problem, but you would know how to g uh, they got zoned out in the end. <laughs> eh, that's pretty much it. Now And now they are fr we are free of the Red Hound King. Things are even more mundane around here. So, what's your opinion of this whole situation with the Red Hound King? I could hardly believe it when it when I heard it. We made truce with that pipe worker? The man who killed so many of us? Even children from what I heard in the past? I think the guy... I think of the guy less than I think of the mud on my boots. And I think he's got some cheap tricks up his sleeve. But if Edgar says otherwise, I don't know. It is what it is. We'll see. Actually, I will try to... I'm, I don't know if there's a, a follow-up. I'll look into that. I said I was going to kill him off camera again uh, because it's a possibility. But I'll look into the, the and see if there's any more quests related to him because if there is if there are then we might have to come back here and just be like oh the Red Hound King uh, Red Hound King strikes again or something. So how does it feel like being Edgar's deputy? Dominating, I'd say. Edgar's a great leader and an even greater man and helping someone like that runs uh, r like that run this community is a, is a hard but very, very fulfilling job. I'm not saying this just because he's standing in the same room and can probably hear us. I really mean it. <laughs> I like it here. I haven't found a reason to complain y yet. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that's goodbye. Because... Oh, no, 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 no. There it is. <laughs> because I, uh, I need to talk to Edgar about learning the things, but... I need to um, say goodbye for right now because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Curl RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.